Hello and welcome to this unofficial but accurate guide on how to access online homework help through the Hennepin County Library website. This is the place to start if you already have a library card. If you don't, please go back and watch the earlier tutorials on how to get a new library card. You'll want to have your card number and PIN ready to go in order to access online homework help. So the first thing to do is to go to the Hennepin County Library website, hclib.org. I'm doing this on my computer, but you can do it on a smartphone or a tablet, anything that'll give you access to the internet and enable you to get onto this website. Right now, there is a direct link to homework help on the front page of the website. So if you click on that and then go to get help from a tutor online, that's going to take you directly to this login page. I recommend bookmarking this to make it easy to come back when, when you want to use uh, the online homework help again. There are a couple other ways to find this login page to get to homework help other than that news item, but I'm going to go back and cover those at the end since right now with the news item up, that's the easiest way to get here. So now I'm going to log in with my barcode. I already had that ready on my clipboard to paste in. Sometimes it can take a little while to type in that number, the whole long number, but you need to do the whole thing. And then you log in. All right, now we are inside of BrainFuse Help Now. This is where you get live help from tutors. It's available every day from 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. And you get that by going to this live tutoring link right here. So working within that link is going to be in the next video. I'm going to wrap this one up by encouraging you to set up an account inside of Help Now. You don't have to do that in order to access the tutoring, but it can help a lot for saving all of the work that you've done um, so that you can come back to it later. So after clicking on that login under my account, I will click on sign up right here. And then make a username, make a password, select this. Now you'll notice it doesn't ask for your name or email address. That's because this is partially connected to your library account. So when you log in with your library barcode to get to Help Now in the first place, that's what gives you free access to this source that might otherwise be something you would have to pay for. This new sign up that we're creating inside of Help Now is only for Help Now and it is going to remember whatever email address is associated with your library card automatically. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, that'll be connected. All the information that you put into Help Now, though, uh, just stays in Help Now. It's not anything that can be accessed by library staff. Uh, it's not inside of your library account. The only connection is through your email address. So I'm going to leave this one here, and then you can move on to the next video on getting into Help Now once you've already completed this registration process and accessing a live online tutor.